Welcome Bad back, Pop, Pop Stars. Stars. I'm Rizzo. I'm Benji. And we have a special guest today, Mr. Movies in Depth himself. Oh, I even have an own name. My name is Evan. Thank you guys so, so much for having me over here on the channel. You don't have a name. It's Mr. Movies in Depth. <laughs> I only take mid. That's all I'm going to accept from you two over there. Thank you guys so, so much for having me over here on your channel. I could not be more excited. This is going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. We just filmed our reaction to the Rocky Horror Picture Show over on Evan's channel, Movies in Depth. Make sure you check that out and also like, comment, subscribe over there with him. What are we doing on this channel, Rizzo? I am subjecting myself to an episode of Glee, the Rocky Glee shit. What is Rocky it called? Rocky Horror Glee Show, so season two, episode five. Well, they got really clever with that name, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> and if we have time, we'll watch the uh, Heather's musical episode of Riverdale. Are you a fan of Glee or Riverdale? For Glee, I would say yes until they went to New York. For Riverdale, yes, until after season one. I really think New York was strong. Really? As long as you subtract all the new storylines with the new kids. I hate Glee. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to give a special thanks to the Movies in Depth family that is over here right now. Uh, hey, how you doing? Kick back, relax. <laughs> We're going to watch this and enjoy ourselves. If you want to like the video, do it right now. Just give it a little give it a little like, get a little tap. And without further ado, let's just get into it. Three, Three two, two, one, one engage. engage. <laughs> Hey, this is like the last thing we just watched. Did they get lip girl again? They got the same lip girl. They pulled her out from the 70s. They time warped her. <laughs> Not the warp. They Not got the time warp again. They got Do you know who that is? That's Leah Michelle. What? Is that not her? No! Oh, that's Santana? I don't know them! No, but we said it in the last reaction. I like, I remembered. Remember? So much happened in that last <laughs> reaction. I don't think any of us remember anything from that last reaction. Show. Really appreciate that they have the same credits as they did in the original movie that we sat through for like three minutes. Not as Pretty long, impressive. though. <laughs> in the velvet darkness. Oh, she plays this character? Night. You'd think with uh, Rachel trying to be the center Every of attention all the time, she would have picked something else. Oh, man, all the funny girl stands are coming. I would have expected her to play Frankenfurter. <laughs> no, she's playing the straight character. Wait, is there no... Is this literally just a remake of it? What did you think this was, Rizzo? I thought there it's was going to be an Rocky episode in between. Glee show. <laughs> Please tell me there's actual plot in the middle of this. I mean, there's something. I don't know if you're going to be happy about it. God damn it. Why have I done this to myself? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, thank God. Oh, here we go. You're messing with my woman? I, I thought we had a deal. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Carl and I had the most amazing weekend. We hit the Revival Theater downtown for the midnight show of Rocky Horror. Wait, there's dialogue in this? Absolutely. Unlike the other one. Where did we watch that again? Oh, over on <laughs> Movies in Depth on Evan's channel. Did you all not already hear about the MID family? Wait, isn't that theater a total dive? It's disgusting. It's horrible. Wait, is she saying that she normally does the Rocky Horror Picture Show thing? Well, she's been doing it with this guy. But well, she's he's got hot. OCD and she can't deal with messes. Right. So he's making her better. That's all we have to do for people who are dealing with stuff like that. Just Take force them. Take dirty them. places. Force them to be better. I decided to have the Glee Club Perform Rocky Horror for the school musical this year. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably have to make some edits. It's worth it to expose the kids to one of my favorite musicals of all time. I don't think it is his favorite musical. I love that show. <laughs> He's lying, isn't he? You're gonna have to edit the whole thing out if you're gonna get Sue and Figgins to sign off on it. When I first watched it, I hadn't seen Rocky Horror, so I was like, well, what? why is she so <laughs> concerned? And now I've seen it, I'm like, how could you even for a second think that you could pass that in a high school? Great news, guys. Good news, everyone. We're doing a crossover episode. <laughs> Evan, you're a fan of musicals, aren't you? I'm a massive fan of musicals. Was your school like this, spending a lot of money on unnecessary dream sequence musicals? You know, honestly, it wasn't, but I kind of wish it was. That would have been way more fun. To be fair, though, they decided to do Rocky Horror. My school did the Pirate King in Pirates of Penzance. I mean, you saw me up on stage in tights. Like, what else did you want to see? Oh, oh do you mean picture here? No. Oh, gosh, I might have to give the picture. We are going to charge charge admission and use the proceeds to help pay for transportation to nationals in New York. <gasps> Next stop, regionals. What the hell are regionals? They never stop talking about it. Okay, let's talk about casting. Oh, Finn and I will play Brad and Janet. I'll be playing the guy in the wheelchair, right? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> 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 Fuck you, Will Schuster. <laughs> Hashtag Artie is Rocky. Yo, I did it! I did it! 
here's the plot twist of the century. You have Schuster play Rocky. No! <laughs> no! Why? <laughs> As someone who has now seen this movie, I can say that that is completely inappropriate. I wouldn't put it past him. Oh, just you wait. There might be a little treat or a nugget of something for you later. Oh, Barry Boswick's in this. Hey, he, uh, he didn't host Family Feud. Remember, I was confused about that. Where was I confused about that on, Benji? Uh, I <laughs> There you go. I can't be on stage in front of the whole school in my tidy whities They're going to be able to see my whole business. Business! I'm kind of insecure about how I look. You're just going to have to oh boy. trust me that you're the hottest guy in school. Rizzo, Benji, the one thing that we learned over on <coughs> Movies in Depth channel is that consent is sexy. So we better see a lot of consent going on in this for this to work. He doesn't look very consensual right here. He looks a little nervous, but we haven't made him do anything. And now let's mosey on over to Sue's Corner. Take it away, Sue. Thanks, Rod. Wait, when did Sue Sylvester get on the news? Just one of her many wins. Just lucky, I guess. But we've lost the true meaning of Halloween. Fear. Oh boy. Without it, they won't know how to behave. They'll try Frenching grizzly bears or consider living in Florida. Go to Florida's old. Oh, uh, oh, that's Meatloaf and Barry Boswick. Oh. I didn't realize the other guy was one too. Yeah, come on, Benji, that's Bob. You know, we come from the world of cable news. No, you come from transsexual Transylvania. No, transgender Transylvania. Sensational Transylvania. Ah, there it is. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. That's very impressive. I gotta step up my pumpkin game. Did she do that right there in front of them like while they were talking? <laughs> you just like see pumpkin shavings going everywhere. I'm like in defense mode. I'm like, no! She was already doing it when they walked in. Look, Benji. Benji, I know you hold this show precious, but you shouldn't. <laughs> my precious. Precious. They aren't at New York yet. I'm with Benji on this one. See? Glee! Is that what happens here? Glee! <laughs> No. Really? Time warp. Time warp. Are we gonna time warp? No! Are we time warping again? <laughs> when do we time warp? When did we time warp the first time? Hey, Janet. Yes, Brad? Uh, why are they singing in class, Benji? They're in choir. Uh, they're in choir? <laughs> yes, this is show choir. This oh, is Glee. that's what Glee. they call Glee Club. You two realize this isn't really realistic. The river was deep, but I swam it. Janet. Honestly, I'll take Finn's version of playing Brad over the normal version any day of the week. I mean, I'm just going to take uh, most Glee versions of any song over the original. Janet. I'm so I'm biased. You. And I'm probably wrong, but I'll embrace it. I know all the Rocky Horror stands are going to come after us, but I'm with Benji. Let's go. But then the Glee stands will go after after the Rocky Horror stands, oh, no! there'll be a fight. There'll be bloodshed in the comments. <laughs> I just want to be involved, Will. Fine, play the part of the criminologist. I think she should play Rocky. <laughs> what about it? She'd be a great Rocky. I think so. <laughs> Sue is Frankenfurter. That's kind of a vibe. Pretty much Sue is anything that she shouldn't be. There is no part that Sue shouldn't be. Internet porn altered the female brain chemistry, making them more like men. Wait, what? And thus more concerned with her bodies. We're just talking about keeping up a good body. Finn no. doesn't have a good body. He's self-conscious about being on stage in his underwear as Brad. Glee really was trying to say, if you don't have a six pack, you don't have a good body. No, that's not what they're trying to say. They're trying to say, be confident in who you are, but he's not <laughs> confident. Guys, no. No. <laughs> Leave my show alone. <laughs> I need to find all these costumes and nobody knows Rocky Horror like you. He's just trying to use her. Mr. Shu. My parents read the script and they're pulling me out of Rocky Horror. What? So he was gonna be Frankenfurter and his parents said no. That random side character? That's not the side character! That's Harry Shum Jr. That background dancer? He's coming into his own this season! Alright! Patronize him! Musical's canceled. Musical's not canceled. Oh my god. Boy who cried wolf. They lost the main character. They can find a new one. Nobody else wants to do it. It's gonna be Schuster, isn't it? I might be too far out of high school, but this just doesn't seem appropriate on any level. Nothing in these shows ever feels appropriate high school wise. And we're about yeah. to watch Riverdale. I don't think any of those 30 year olds have ever set foot in high school. <laughs> hey, Cole Sprouse has been around the block. He was not only on A Sweet Life on Deck, but he was also in a hotel. Cole Sprouse is a weirdo. He's weird. I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. I don't understand. You guys have a hole to fill and I'm just trying to help fill it. Wanky. I can't just give you a role. You'd have to try out. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Fair enough. Whatever happens to Saturday night. He is so not having it. Are they warping again? I don't think this is the time warp. Wait, is this? I don't know. He's moving those hips. That's the warp. Anytime somebody moves their hips, <laughs> we're warping. 
I like how they basically said, yeah, Stamos can't play the saxophone. Will Schuster really likes to be a buzzkill, doesn't he? Depends on the episode. He's the brat of this storyline. They all take their turns, really. You want to play in our sandbox? Sing a Frankenfurter number. Samba, are you a child? He is. <laughs> He's like, uh, playground rules. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unacceptable. Don't you think it's a little inappropriate in a high school musical? Thank you. Well, at least if I play Eddie, I won't have to grind up against the students. <laughs> <laughs> Santana's got priorities. Is Santana not out yet at this point? But she's by, right? Right now, she's straight ish. I think she's straight with benefits is that what is that a new <laughs> orientation straight with benefits it's when you're straight except for with like one person <laughs> exactly there's that one special someone who here in the comments straight with benefits <laughs> who here will make me their benefit if i had access to ryan reynolds i mean come on Come on, Mercedes! Santana's girlfriend, what's her name? Oh, Brittany. Brittany. Brittany S. Pierce. Who's she playing? Is that Taps? That's Tip Tap Girl. Tip Tap Girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best name we could come up with. And where did we come up with that name? On Movies and Dips! You know who really got the shaft in this episode, though, was Quinn Fabre. She doesn't do a damn thing. She gets a little solo moment in, um, in Time Warp. Just wait for the Time Warp if you want to see her. Wait, is this the Time Warp again? Oh, we're going to get there again. <laughs> You shiver with anticipation. What? Huh? Patience. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> but not the center! <laughs> Mercedes killed that shit. She ate it. Oh, shit, Benji. She ate that shit. Where'd those pipes go? You made my dog start barking. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my shower songs. Oh, yeah. You're two acts early. You're supposed to bust through the dinner party scene. I'm sort of feeling my entrance in this scene. That's not how plays work. <laughs> Always that one actor. Hey, 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 I was on Full House, okay? If I say I come in in this scene, that's when I come in. Stage direction be damned. <laughs> you don't keep John Stamos in a corner. We have a problem with the show. Some of these parts are just too adult for kids to play. Oh, especially Sam. He seems so uncomfortable. Is there something wrong with my body? I think the role's a little too risque for a student. Oh, God. You fuckers. <laughs> Y'all warned me and I still wasn't prepared. It. Who's gonna play Rocky? Oh, <laughs> I guess I have to. <laughs> I guess I have to. Oh my God. Oh Lord. Is it worse that he's keeping Rachel in the lead or would it be worse no, if he that's... tried to kick Rachel out? It would be legally worse to keep <laughs> Rachel in the lead, but it would be technically worse to kick her out because she's going to burn the whole place down. Right. Either way, he is just a horrible person. It's not going great right now. Like, hey, hot take here. Will Schuster's creepy. That is a very accurate take. This isn't his first or last fuck up. I will say any dislike I might have had for him does go away oh, no. pretty quickly. Oh, Benji. <laughs> it's, it's coming up for me. Benji, I'm going to be real with you. I can't blame you. I was like, God, Mr. She, you kind of suck. Oh, uh, well. Okay. It's okay if you like to suck. <laughs> oh, Mr. Schuster. Uh, I don't think he's acting. That face right there was... Uh, I think he just shooed yeah. his pants. <laughs> he shooed everywhere. Oh, shit. There's shoe everywhere. <laughs> Also, are they blind? There's clearly kids watching them in the <laughs> they window. They don't see anything else that's happening right now. Should we also be talking about how Santana and Brittany are getting off on all this? It's all a very just a convoluted web of horniness. Hi. 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 Careful, it's wet. <laughs> <laughs> he shoot all over it. Where are you going? To show everyone how hot and sexy I am. <laughs> nope. Is this the part where that we is, That has passed. Night. Damn those cool ranch Doritos. That is not healthy. Well, it's working for me. Suspended for what? I sort of walked down the hall in my Rocky Horror costume. In what universe did he think this was a good idea? Schuster, you messing with my woman? I, uh... Do the warp! Do the warp again! <laughs> Do the warp, get out of here! Stop it, bro! Man to man, you gave me your word. Does he always have to wear that, like, really tight leather bike That's outfit? That's his costume. I don't know, it's working for me. See? It's working for Evan. Well, then fucking Evan can take him <laughs> home. <laughs> I'm sure he will! Rocky Horror isn't about pushing boundaries or making an audience accept a certain rebellious point of view. Yeah, it absolutely is. Isn't that exactly what Rocky <laughs> Horror was? Pushing boundaries? You think that show came out and it was super accepted? I think so. I think it was rated E for everyone and it was a family classic. We're still going to perform Rocky Horror. We're just not doing it for an audience. We're doing it for ourselves. That sounds like a major waste of money. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, they're warping! Let's do the time again! Hey, where did we 
do the time warp the first time. Oh, over on the Movies in Depth That's channel. Oh, movies in Depth channel. Oh, I totally lied. Finn got her moment. Or not Finn. Uh, what's her name? What's her name, bitch? Help me out. Quinn, you got it. Quinn. Quinn, not Finn. Oh, uh, Rocky's wearing a shirt. How does that make you feel? Disappointed, but you know, he said he's more comfortable that way. So we respect it. What is sexy? Consent. Sexy is consent. <laughs> Benji, that was great. Uh, does Glee always suck that bad? Well, it depends on if you think sucking is bad. Oh, oh. Quickly, rate which one you like better, OG or Glee? Don't put him on the spot like that. Actually, no, that could be a recurring bit. OG or Glee? Oh. I'm down. We always know where mine is going to be. This is going to piss people off, but I'm going to have to go with Benji on this one. I'm going to have to say Glee is the better version of Rocky Horror. I'm sorry, <laughs> Tim Curry ate, but all of Glee destroyed. But how are they going to get to regionals? <laughs> and to think they were this close to regionals. What the hell are regionals? They're this close, Pierce. Heather's the musical. How in God's name is a play about teen violence and suicide a good idea in Riverdale? Wow, this feels like deja vu. But its characters long for simpler, more innocent times. Kind of like fans of the original Archie and Betty and Veronica comics. They're like, I just want simpler times. Why is everything so sexy? I wonder how accurate of a musical this is gonna be. The one thing I will give credit to Glee for is that anytime people break out into song, I never question the reality of why people are singing. That's true. But what I hate more than anything are TV shows that have nothing to do with musicals, all of a sudden deciding that, oh, guess what? Everyone seems to understand this virus that makes us all break out into song. You can't introduce a new set of rules. Are you saying that you didn't enjoy the Grey's Anatomy musical episode? There's a Grey's Anatomy musical? <laughs> yeah. Let me guess. Is it a brain aneurysm like what they did in uh, Scrubs. Scrubs? I have no idea. I just know my wife has talked about how terrible it is. There was a Buffy musical episode. Her musical episode was a demon that took over and turned everything into a musical. Okay, that's clever. Your mom can't start dealing drugs without a lab to make them in. Why is everything so so dramatic in this goddamn series. Everyone's mom and parent is doing something. <laughs> I feel like every mom and parent is just doing everybody. And they're all a part of something sinister. They're like, ah, yes, Archie's great, great uncle. He's a serpent. Twice removed on the right hand side. Are all of you this miserable? <laughs> how, how is that not a meme? Are all of you this miserable? <laughs> How is anyone asking that question in this town? Riverdale, the town where that girl's brother was murdered and that girl's got a dark side and that girl's got some shit and happening. that girl's dad is a fucking crime boss. <laughs> Are you guys that miserable? This fucking episode. Is there an explanation given for why they're singing? I wish I could say there was. I think the reason for this musical is because they're all just practicing for their part. Be beautiful. Dream sequences, you know? I hate dream sequence musicals. Honestly, I'm just over dream sequences at this point. I don't think it's fully a tree. I think it's it's a kind of a, it's an artistic presentation of what they're doing, which is they're picking their characters, they're auditioning, they're singing the songs, they're rehearsing. That's what we're watching. Just artistically done as a musical. Come on, guys. Come on, Riverheads, you got this. Before we start today, there's been a slight change to our creative team, but I've also asked Evelyn to step up and be my co-director. What? Kevin. No. Kevin, no. I felt we should bring on a choreographer. Fly girl, Tony Topaz. Does anyone have a chainsaw? Because what the... Glee! To be fair, that was actually a Heather's line. Oh, really? Uh, Glee! <laughs> Cheryl, I'm trying to be professional here. Can you not? Are we gonna have a problem? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. That was way too dramatic. Get out of my dress. No! This entire musical is just one big recruitment drive for you, isn't it? How many cults are in this universe? Way too many. More than there should be allowed. Kind of like that neck piece, though. Just popping in a change. There's a cast party tonight. A cast party? Y'all have barely even put on a play. Like, why, why don't we I wait? Know, right? You definitely have to finish the play before you have a party. You've done, like, one rehearsal. Like, calm that shit down. Oh, this is where the musical part just sounds terrible. Yeah, this is kind of... Rough. Yeah, it's what happens when you introduce a musical episode halfway through a show that doesn't give a shit about musicals. They're not rehearsing right now, are they? No, because these guys would rather party than rehearse. Only thing you need to know is they're warping. Is this the time warp again? Can I confess something? I was afraid this was never going to happen again. Wait, when did that happen? Me too. I thought her and Archie were endgame. We're endgame, Archie? I don't even know who you are. Does no one have a burden that the rest of us can help shoulder? Or make fun of? <laughs> Just one or the other. Veronica? Anything to share? 
Yes. No, you never made up a rumor about anybody? Just that you sell drugs. I'm really disappointed in you, Katie. What is this? We should be rehearsing the damn play. <laughs> what do you mean rehearsing the play? Our life is a play. Everything is so dramatic. <laughs> Life's a stage and Riverdale's the entrance. Oh, <laughs> they would say something like that, honestly. They fucking wouldn't. They wouldn't say it ironically either. I'm surprised that's not a line. This needs to end with Life's a play and Riverdale's the entrance. Yeah! The end. I don't think this is something we should be doing right now. Come on, we need more music in this musical. Tell me why. <laughs> why aren't they fucking rehearsing? The curtains are gonna open and everyone's gonna be like, ah, oh, shit. We should have been rehearsing. <laughs> but Rizzo, 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 they're actually gonna perform for people, unlike Glee. Did you have a lobotomy for breakfast? You're wearing my signature color. Red? Oh, nobody can wear red. You own red? You don't own the color red. I invented red. Are we gonna have a problem? No. I am red. And I am Iron Man. The demon queen of high school has decreed it. Honestly though, her outfit right here is everything. If she was just wearing a baggy red t-shirt and some dirty <laughs> jeans, <laughs> Cheryl wouldn't have cared. It's the fact that she was wearing a badass red outfit. She was like, I own red that looks like that, baby. Yeah. Don't wear that shit. Oh. Yeah, this song, um, yeah. She's hot. Yeah, she is. Very. Ah, that was a setup. I was <laughs> just trying to get you two straights to objectify a woman on camera. <laughs> Shut the fuck ah, up. You, you just objectified you, her too. You played right into my hands. <laughs> Plot twist. What a twist. I shouldn't have brought you guys here. No, you should be rehearsing. Fuck off. We don't rehearse here. <laughs> we do our plays improv like God intended. Evelyn called the closed rehearsal for select cast members in the gargoyle chamber. Oh, they have a rehearsal happening. What a novel idea. That's how little they rehearse that Betty went, I found a clue. What's your clue? They're actually rehearsing. Whoa, hang on. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. That's not right. <laughs> that sounds sus as hell. Rehearsal. Okay. Wait. They're clearly up to something. Check that out. Heathers is being used to indoctrinate students into a cult. Betty, everything's a cult to you. Next, you're going to be saying this school's a cult. Well, it is. I think Weatherby is part of the farm. Everybody's a suspect. What is that, drain cleaner? I swore what she was wearing was the actual comforter. <laughs> I thought so too. How the hell did we get here? When did our lives go from worrying about who's gonna sit next to us on the bus to drug lord mothers? And serial killer fathers. We get it, oh, Betty. Oh my right. God. You're Betty. so that's cool. Right. You got it. You have a dark side. You have a dark Where side, Betty. <laughs> Idea. I've got a crazy idea. Let's go to Thank fucking you. rehearsal. <laughs> Rizzo, it sounds like you've been doing too much jingle jangle. Put it back. Here we don't rehearse, we live. Uh, life's a stage and Riverdale's the casting director. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> we'll go camping, play some poker, and we'll eat some chili fries. Cole Sprouse, he tries, but man, the boy can't sing. I mean, that was never a part of Again, anything he's done. Again, when he was cast, did they say, hey buddy, this is gonna be a musical show? No, not No, at they all. did not. And well, it's mean of them to not just dub him. They're like, this isn't Disney. We're not gonna Drew Seeley you. You're gonna struggle for the whole world to hear. Is this idea maybe more emotional than practical? Because another thing that you could do is... What? You let it go. Let it go. Let, let it go. go. Holy shit, this show makes no sense. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. Betty's got a dark side, I guess. <laughs> Archie's shirt is still on him. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Let's get those nips out. Life is a stage and <laughs> Riverdale's the show. <laughs> This is gonna be so much fun to edit. I know, I'm looking at the audio form over here. I'm like, we both are gonna have a terrible time. I found out that your mother tried to have me killed. Twice. Yeah, so did I, Dad. And yeah. you tried to have us killed. <laughs> and Betty's mom's a serial killer. Okay. And Jughead's dad runs a gang. Okay. And Archie, I don't know, he tries. Uh, this whole goddamn <laughs> town's traumatic, Dad. God. The <laughs> world is a stage and Riverdale is the final curtain, she says. Oh, so good. We need more drama. Not enough. Not enough. 
<laughs> Not enough. I don't know how they let it get so dramatic. They were like, more, darker, turn down the brightness. <laughs> What the hell happened? Are you okay? Every time I see this man, I just get great flashbacks to scream. That's all I need in this world, so I'm happy. No, I'm fine. It's just some scratches. Corn syrup. Same stuff they use for pig's blood and carry. Imagine they did a Riverdale scream episode and had Skeet be the villain again. Hell yeah, I'd watch the shit out of that. You know, I would say it would be good, but they would just make it way too dark and dramatic. It would be season two all over again. The whole episode would be Betty going, maybe I'm the killer. No, Betty. I have a dark side. You're just a bored teenage girl. <laughs> you know my dad's a serial killer? Yeah, so we know. it must be me. Okay. I don't no. remember killing anyone, but I have a dark side. I also have this dark wig in the back. I mean, I only use it for special occasions. You're not the murderer, Betty. I don't know. I might be. <sighs> I'm a bad guy now. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering, I think I'm really fucking cool. Betty, make sure he knows his line and choreography for the finale. Hey, you know how you can figure out and know your lines? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> fucking rehearse! Just rehearse the damn show! Well, do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! Huh. They just committed arson. We have no explanation for this, do we? Well, there was explanation, but again, we were talking. The world is a stage, and Riverdale is the fire that kills everyone because they can't get out because our exits aren't well lit. I thought Riverdale was the exit. <laughs> no. No, oh, it's just the intro, baby. Oh, shit. This works as an aphrodisiac for them? New kink unlocked. Oh, they're performing. This is the show. Oh, God, they're stripping. This is the choreography. Imagine sitting out in the audience watching this. This is the goofiest shit of all time. Do these guys even rehearse? Watch this be like the exact choreography of the show. What? No one's applauding. No one. They're like, did you guys just put this together? Maybe next time stop singing in the hallways and just <laughs> sing in rehearsal. Is that Chad Michael Murray? Yep. He's the cult leader. I knew my dad would like it. Cringe. Wow, pop stars, I feel a little musical now. How do you feel, Benji? I feel like I want to see the Heathers musical now. Does Archie take his shirt off in the Heathers musical? You know, I don't want it. Life is a stage and Riverdale is Archie's shirt. Up with the shirt. Again, thank you all so, so much for having me over here on the channel. Do you want to tell them where to find you? You can check me out at Twitter, on Instagram, different handles, but just go to the links in my videos and you can find them. Also head over to my channel if you want to see our collab on the Rocky Horror Picture Show. For those who came over from the Movies In Depth family, thank you so much. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want to see the full unhinged reaction. Oh my God. Go Sorry. on over to Patreon. It'll be there eventually when I finally have the time to export it. Yes. I see those fingers. I see them. <laughs> Did we need to say anything officially before we do the official sign out? I think that we should pull a Riverdale Heathers and just wing it. Let's practice in our heads for a second and then just see what comes out. No rehearsal. No rehearsal. None. Did you re Don't rehearse. Let's go. Uh, live in the moment. I'm Rizzo. I'm Benji. Sweet dreams, Pops. I'm Evan. Oh, fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> Did this with my mom, too. <laughs> Everybody's just gonna be singing to the person they're trying to have sex with. Is that not all musicals are? <laughs> yeah, That's probably much. how they were born. They were just like, hey guys, we wanna have sex. How do we impress the, uh, the other person? Maybe sing about it. Okay, cool. Yeah. What the theater kids don't want you to actually know. Welcome to Riverdale. Cults and betrayal is our major export. Jingle jangle, over-sexualized teens and cults. You gotta love it. No, now, up oh, because. Until next time, I'm Rizzo. I'm Benji. I'm Evan. Sweet dreams, pop stars. Keep, Keep watching. watching. Keep watching. We'll, At, line we'll, it up later. we'll make it look <laughs> like you did it. Your mother and I are separating. I'm breaking up with your father because he breaks out into song. <laughs> There's no musicals happening inside of this house. This is a musical free zone. It sounds like my house. I say as my best friend's a musical person and my girlfriend's a musical person. Look at Wait, that. how did I find myself in this sandwich? Just lucky, I guess. <gasps>